first of all, I would like to say thank you so much, Jazakum Allah Khair, for brothers and sisters as well, for inviting me this morning uh, to be with all of you today, in this blessed morning, in this blessed month, Rabi Al Awal Mubarak. Uh, may Allah grant us all uh, the love of brotherhood and uh, may, he, may he subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us closeness to him in dunya wa akhira through the being close to his beloved bro prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uh, it's very interesting also for me sometimes to be in uh, small gathering relaxing more relaxing uh -huh. easy you know like to communicate and focus and secondly especially uh, just now a brother did mention about they already started two months ago around and they are focusing on the new generation raising up in a in an islamic way which is uh, the path of purity taskia that's what we have Inshallah, Allah will bless your mission with success and all your steps to be accepted by Him and uh, the seeds to be grown, to become tree, and that tree can find the branches in the west and the east, Inshallah. To take, uh, to eat the fruit is something, but to plant the tree of that fruit is something different. Mm. Uh, there is always a wise or a wisdom in any stories like that. But I like one uh, beautiful story about it's exactly uh, happening here, like in the concept of forming this school, um, the work for that. Of course, all of you doing this because you have inherited the same thing you have studied before when all of us, when we are young, under the care of asatida, scholars, ulama, teachers. And therefore, we became also now uh, ready to deliver. Mm -hmm. And that's how the life you take and hand over. So this is a chain. In every knowledge, in, in, in ilm, in deen, there is a chain always. Silsila, sanad, isnad. From one to one. Ilm al-hadith, ilm al-tafsir, ilm al all. Uh, but I like there's one story is very, you know, uh, interesting about, you know, this uh, king who was traveling somewhere with his people, hunting, hunting trip. And they saw an old man, his age over 90 years. And he was doing, he was planting a small plant. Small tree. So when the king saw him, he came to him and he said, Hey, what are you doing? This plant needs 20 years to grow and it will give fruits only once a year. So I'm not sure whether you will be after 20 years alive or not. And whether you will enjoy the fruits, which is every one year or not, if you are alive. The man, the old man said to the king, your Majesty, there are people planted for us before, and we at. Now we have to plant for the next people coming, the next generation, to eat. Right? So the king said, wow, this is a very great wisdom. Give him 1,000 dinar now as a reward for this wisdom. So they gave him 1,000. The man was very happy and smiling. And so the king said, why are you smiling and happy? Your Majesty, you said, my plant will give fruits after 20 years. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but mine gave fruits today itself, the day I planted. He said, ah, Allah, this is very good also. Give him one more thousand. <laughs> 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 then the guy smiled again, that old man. He said, why are you smiling now again? He said, you said, my fruit, this one, will give after 20 years once a year. Mine gave twice a year, <laughs> once a day. So he said, give him 1,000, let us go from here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice advice, huh? Age, this one, efforts, all 
not depend uh, in, 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 I mean, the efforts, our effort not depend on our age or, or small or big. Or most of the biggest organizations start in a small room, maybe. So, eh? But who made it? Like the big trees, you know? That the big trees, the origin of that tree is a seed. You see the big tree? I once I saw one in geographic, uh, National Geographic Channel. But one tree, I can't remember it in Indonesia or somewhere. It's a huge, huge, the, the, yani, the very big. But the funny part, they say this tree, he, yeah, uh, to, to, to plant, you cannot plant small tree. You have to plant a seed, small seed. And that small seed, subhanAllah, become a huge tree like that. Ajib. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran, in hadith of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sunnah, always talk about small things. The fruitful of small things. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرَ يَرَى Okay, what that means? Say little, like atom. خَيْرَ huh? يَرَى See, you do little, small thing, plant something, عَمَلْ خَيْر, any good thing. خَيْرًا يَرَى Who will give you the goodness of it? Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah will give you small? He'll give you khayr and yara, the generosity of Allah, al-kareem. Example, if you give one, the many imam, the imam, many imam in our life, you do anything, it's not only money, anything. Anything you do, it will be doubled by ten times, correct? Let's say you give one dollar, for example, to contribute so for something, school, madrasa, hospital, anything, helping someone who is in need. In return, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the many imam ten times double. Not the minimum. Al Hasana bi Ashri Amthaliha. Then up to 700 times, and then Wallahu Raifuli Mayesha. Allah will double it many number of times to whom He will. He wish him. If you contribute one dollar, what that mean? Minimum Allah will give you ten dollars? According to the hadith. If you give one, Allah give you ten times. Does that mean uh, ten dollars you give? Then, you know, you give one dollar according to your ability. I am able to give one. Allah will give you ten times double with according to his ability. And his ability is endless. Uh -huh. You give for something, we want something in your heart. But Allah gives you in many other directions. If it is not for now, see how his generosity he will give for you the coming generation. He will bless them because of your contribution. Read Surah Al-Kahf. Surah Al-Kahf. That Surah, we have to read it every Friday. It has meanings, beautiful meanings. Talk about the fitna of the life and the cure of that fitna. Fitna of children and the cure of that. Fitna of everything. So, in the story, you know, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, Nabi Musa and Sayyidina al-Khidr, they went to a village. And that uh, village, they were too stingy, bakhil. They never offer them water or drink or nothing. They give them nothing. And when they enter to the village, they should deal with the situation without mentioning who they are. So Sayyidina Musa, if you say, I am Musa, Nabi Musa alayhi salam, the people will, you know, submit to him. But now they need to see the reality of the people and what they need to change. Now he saw these people that have this problem, these people have them. So he have to change. He have to work according to that. While they're going out, they saw a small garden, orchard, surrounded by a wall made of clay. And one part of that wall just about to collapse, cracked. So Sayyidina Musa, uh, Khidr alayhi salam, he said to Sayyidina Musa, wait, give me a while. So he started repairing the whole thing from morning until night. And Sayyidina Musa didn't help him. He was just looking, like witnessing. So why you should help the people? They, you know, they were like too stingy, nothing. They don't deserve our help. After he finished working in the clay and Sayyidina Khidr alayhi salam, and he told Sayyidina Musa, he said, 
You know why I did that? Because underneath the wall, there is a treasure. And if the wall collapses, the treasure will be exposed. And the people will take it. And this treasure belongs, this wall, and it belongs to these two orphans, very young. Two orphans. No father, no mother, no nothing. So I have helped them, and you have witnessed that. See, helped by Wali ibn al-Awliya, Sayyidina al-Khadr. In Ruwayat, they said Nabi. In other Ruwayat, they say he's one of the great awliya. Huh? But for sure, Sayyidina Musa as a messenger, is better than him, for sure. But he has something, Allah installed something on Sayyidina al-Khidr and he, Allah wants Sayyidina Musa to see. Mm -hmm. So he said, uh, why I have helped them? Uh -huh. Because Allah, Allah helped them, subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَأَرَادَ رَبُّكَ Allah's will. Because their great-grandfather, they say in Ahl al-Mufassirin, Ahl al-Tafsir, they said he is number seven. Seven great grandfather. He was a pious man. Therefore, Allah helped his great grandchildren. These grandchildren doesn't know about the great grandfather, and the great grandfather doesn't know about the grandchildren going to happen like that. But because he was a good person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't forget that for him until seven generations. This is showing us the good things we do in our life. A little bit of contribution that will become, uh, will give fruits. And the fruits, who will make everything grow? We doesn't know how the trees grow. There is a saying, they said, no one noticed that when the tree grows, but everyone noticed when the tree fall, tree fall down. Huh? Everyone hear the sound. So may Allah bless us to <laughs> all our life to be grown. No, there's no fall down. <laughs> no. So... Uh, this, they, they have to be an effort. Each of us have to pay great efforts. Husband and wife, to build the house of Sakina, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran. I think most of us when, during Nikah time, if you remember, recall, there is this verse, Surah al Rum, verse 30. Always. الذي خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا وجعل من عنه القرآن. We talk about mawadda, special love. With, mawadda is not mahabba. Some people, one more day is love with, with sacrifice. Someone fire, other will have to be water. So, huh? Eh? Cannot be fire in one time. Someone learn, someone, uh, someone say advice, someone accept the advice. It's have to be like that. Mawadda wa rahman, sakina. Litaskunu ulayha, tranquility. When they became parents, the life changed. Another contribution here for children. When the children grow, contribution to the parents. When they went to a school, contribution of student to the teacher and teacher to the students. When they go out, they graduate, contribution to the company and the company owner to the workers. And that's the life gone. In all matters of life. But if you want to make, draw something about your life to say uh, the success and the failure, for example, I was, a, as a couple, we were uh, having a happy life. This is put, tick one, good. As a parents, as a teacher, as a boss, as a worker, this is all you have to tick the success. And that success, you will get rewarded for it. Especially for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the meaning of In many ways you're in your life. You need, help, you need help, and the, the only one who can give you special support for all is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, if you may want to make, sec to, to make something good, and to contribute something uh, for our life and next life, for ourselves, for our families, for our uh, uh, society, community, humanity, we have to submit ourselves to the law which Allah put subhanahu wa ta'ala in, uh, in, in, in the Quran and for us to, do, to observe it. Number one, sincerity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants sincerity, ikhlas. Ikhlas, they said, is the water of the tree of success. 
Three of success is what? Number two, sabr, patience. Inna Allah ma'al sabirin. Sayyidina Rasulullah is the best of the sincere, the best of patience. See his life, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Give you one example. When he left Mecca, the people of Mecca chasing him. They want to kill him. With him whom? Sayyidina Abu Bakr only, radiallahu an. Correct? After many years, he came back to Mecca. He came back to Mecca as a nation, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This time. Was alone, left, came back. But sabur, patience, ikhlas, sincerity made it to happen. So there is nothing called failure in our life. There's people failed and they want to be failed always. They felt that's all. But you see the one who's sick, even the doctor said your sickness, no recovery, he will still try, he will still do research to find out if there is any recovery. Huh? Waiting for any, the doctor said to him, so far there is nothing being discovered, but we are waiting. And don't lose your hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the hope starts from A to Z in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Connect with him and you see what's going to happen. When they ask Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu, they say how far, how the distance between earth and heaven? How far? He said one dua maqbool, one accepted supplication. Yeah, when Allah listened to you, that's dua maqbool. Uh -huh. So there is no distance. There is no distance between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he made this hard place of feeling I said, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani said, Ya Allah, let us see you in this world through the eyes of our hearts and in the hereafter through the eyes of our head. Whoever managed to see Allah in this life through Basira, this we call Basira. Al-Qalb, in Quran, Allah called it Basira. And this is Basar. The side, the sight of the heart called Basira. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنها لا تعمل أبصار ولكن تعمل قلوب التي في الصدور. It's not the heart became blind. It's the heart's blind. The heart blind of seeing the beauty of the meaning of their iman. Our iman is not depend on something we need. يعني I just not pray because I want from Allah something. That's our right, of course. But the wisdom said. There are people who worship Allah because of they want something. This is a, the worship of traders. The other who they worship Allah because scared of something. Scared of losing wealth, scared of sickness, scared of uh, Jahannam. This is, this is what you call it, the worship of slaves. Right? They escape from their master. But Allah wants our worship, the worship of Al-Mu'mineen. المؤمنين المتقين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله يو بليفر التقوى يو هاف تو هاف تقوى بايتي بايتي وير از ات ان ذا هارت ذا مينيت يو هاف بيور هارت ذاتس كونسيدر ا بليف اند ذات ويل بي فور يو ا ساين اوف اكسبتنس اند ذات يو ار سينج ذا رياليتي اوف ذيس لايف هير بيفور ذا هير افتر رايت سو These are the qualities which we do it. We, we try to struggle to reach to it in our life in order for us to get the, the blessing of hereafter. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati. Who's the one who will decide for you the happiness of your next world? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what he did, he put all this temporary life Temporary stay, if we're doing well here, in the end, we will have the everlasting life of happiness because of this temporary life. This life will decide for you the happiness of next world. In this world, you struggle. You buy a house, you travel, you migrate, you live somewhere, you work hard, you choose where to buy house you choose the color of the house the rooms how many children the names of the children where to school which school to put them you will choose everything right in akhira allah will choose everything for you he will choose where to stay 
with Jannah, Jannah al Naim, Jannah al Firdaus, Jannah to Adin. Who is your neighbor? Huh? What is the type of the palace you're going to stay? How beauty is it? What's the river next to you? Made of what? Is it from milk? From khamur? Uh -huh. From water? Is it made of zamrud? Quran. The people, Allah's servants in dunya, Allah treats them in akhirah as the kings. Allah described Ahlul Jannah, describe what they wear on the top, except their cloth, sundus, istabraq, the bangles, the beds, the houses, everything. And when you read it, he's describing, describing for kings. The servant of his in dunya, they're the kings of akhirah. There is always uh, struggle to reach to that, but you will forget about the, the struggle you have faced in dunya when you go there. And each of us, whoever struggle in this life, he will find the sweetness in this life, in fact. You will be proud of what you have done. So it's an opportunity for us, inshallah, to, uh, to do that. And our source for any problems in our life our source of information and the remedy is Sayyidina al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His seer al nabawiya has enough of uh, and a very rich information and medicine to all problems of our life. How he dealt with each situation sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He has faced many problems. That is important now to teach the new generation about the Sheer al-Nabawiya, the biography of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the biography of the Anbiya wal Mursaleen before us. They are beautiful stories. In the stories you will find guidance. Guidance. You won't find only just listening stories like uh, sometimes you know, when you al Quran al Karim now uh, you can download it, you can have it any you know, tafsir free with this technology. But if you want to buy any other books which has false information or stories, expensive. End of the day, which one going to give you the happiness of dunya and akhirah? The Quran al Karim. It's a priceless priceless. Al Quran priceless priceless. Because Kalamullah. In Canada they were a group of people, they were studying to be a priest. They're Christian. One of them, his name, uh, Dr. David Miller. I'm not sure you have heard of him or not. This David Miller, he was, he's a professor in math. Okay? So as a, for him to, for graduation, they need to write a research, a thesis like, you know? So what he have chosen, go to the Quran, and he wants to find the clashes of the verses of the Quran. Say 142 surah, this book. They must be clashes in information. Because especially it's not focusing on one matter. It's focusing about history, about prophets, about different location, about different people, about different nations. But if you talk about something, maybe it is too. But if you talk about this, they have to be, for him, they have to be a clashes. So he wants to write about that. His intention was, you know, like Allah knows the heart. Instead of being crisis, Allah wants to make him a sign of his oneness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Instead of finding the faults of Quran, he found the beauty of the Quran. Which many scholars and mufassirin, they have not thought of it. Because he thought of the simple way. He didn't say of the deep way. We don't have ilm tafsir. He just wants to find the faults. Put in your mind, if the people find, if you did lots of good things to the people, 20, 30 years, one fault, they will only focus on that fault. They won't talk about your like a page. One blank page, white color. If there is a dot, everyone will talk about that dot. There is a teacher in exam, give the exam paper to the students. In the exam, it's a blank. blank. But there is a dot in each page. One here, one in the middle, one in the top, 
that dot. No? Then he gave it to them. So they thought that's the exam. So everyone started writing about the dot. Uh, describe it. They thought, yeah, this is what he... So when they give, everyone talk about the dot is the center. Someone say it should be like this, should be like that. And if two dots will be like this. And they start like imagination. And he said to them, when he got the paper, he said, who's the one who told you I want to describe the dot? I want to talk about the white. <laughs> But that as a human beings, always we forget about the, the good things and always focus on something. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in taku hasana yudha'ifha. A sayyah, he will erase it. Al uh, hasana, he will double it, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ajeeb. This is akhlaq al-Quran. This is akhlaq al-Quran which we have to apply in our houses, in our workplace, in everywhere. Anyway. So this Dr. David Miller, what he did? He finds, for example, that the name of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam repeated in the Quran five times. Four times as Muhammad and one time as Ahmed. The name, plain name. Of course, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Nabi is more than... And the name of Sayyidina Nabi Allah, Isa alayhi wa sallam, Jesus, 25 times. Subhanallah, yani, talking about praising others. Is not only for me. No others. I will talk about the beauty of others. He found that the full surah in Quran, Surah Maryam. Huh? But there is no surah in Quran, Surah Khadija or Aisha or Fatima. Right? Okay. He finds that the verse, the surah of Tabbat Yada Abi Lahab, revealed 10 years. Uh, Abu Lahab passed away 10 years after the surah was revealed. If Abu Lahab converted to Islam for one second, that's the whole surah gone. But that never happened. He continued to be as an unbeliever. And that's the beauty of the Quran, subhanAllah. And he said, what is this? Mm -hmm. I saw one video today morning. It's a quite old video in one university somewhere in, in, the, in Europe. So one professor, he was talking, he said, Al-Quran, Al-Islam against knowledge and ma'rifah, ilm. One student said, okay, you have said that. Give it me any word from Quran or Sunnah saying that Al-Quran or Al-Islam against ilm. Where is it? He could not find, he could not answer. He said, no, it's not in Quran. It's one of the books of uh, Imam Ghazali say, okay, give me the saying of Imam Ghazali. I accept that. Where is it? He could not. Uh, if someone talking professor, you will believe on him. But if you have a little bit of kindness and knowledge, you will discover what is wrong, what is right. Our deen never been against knowledge at all. They are great ulama in the his Islamic, his, most of them wearing imama like me, but they are great scholars, a Razi. Heart specialist. Ibn al Haytham, the first one who made eye, done the eye surgery. Uh, al Khawarizmi, Liguaritim, mathematics. Ibn Sina, Abba Sina, a statue in the in, 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 uh, in UK, in a university, one of the universities when you enter. They're all alim in deen and alim in knowledge also. Because Islam asking us to be the best human, to be a good doctor, to be a good lawyer, to be a good engineer. But uh, put in your mind, you say, your deen is asking you to be sincere. Don't cheat. Don't bribe. Don't do bad things. And that's secured. Alhamdulillah. So David Miller, this person, subhanAllah, after he was doing that, end of the day, he found himself saying, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun, instead of same thing. But no one advised him. Not a single da'iya. He never seen any YouTube or someone talk about Islam. He's doing something different. But he found the jewels which we have lost. So what he did, he became da'iyah immediately. Not only kawai, he became da'iyah. Da'iyah, uh, he went to the five other, used to study with him, his colleagues, and he brought to them the translation of Surat Maryam. Surat Maryam, talking about the birth of Sayyidina Maryam and Sayyidina Isa bin Maryam, alayhi salam. Huh? And he went to them, he said, I found this in the holy book. One of them is a poet. He said, can you read it for us? You know, the poet, they know how to. So he was reciting it in a way that the translation, 
that made all of them like it was too emotion all of them crying so one of them said this is in which chapter in the bible he said this is in the quran they were shocked quran talk like about now them as a muslims what we know about these meanings if you talk with others islam didn't say destroy the deen of others no if someone for example convert to islam is that mean he left his deen no he in fact knowing now going to know more about his deen he's going to be stronger in his belief the belief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through what sayyidina mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam sayyidina is just sallallahu alaihi wasallam came khatam al nabiyin conclusion of all everything conclusion khatam yani al khatib what we say that sometimes when you say al khatib a conclusion big book there's a conclusion everyone looking to the conclusion one two three four and sayyidina rasulullah came with the nectar of all so we want everyone to understand more we never have been asked to destroy the deen of others or to talk negative about others no our our deen alhamdulillah is very simple but islam is very simple muslims are complicated unfortunately sometimes everyone talk about his own version of islam which is cannot islam is one one only and pure and the purity of islam sayyidna al mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam said al islam the deen of uh, nature al fitra very simple but the complication we find here you know, the muslims sometimes they uh, see when we talk with in a language with the people we have to learn in a simple language so that they can understand that's how sayyidna mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam when you talk everyone will understand because they talk in a simple language right so may allah grant us baraka to 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 be among those people whom they do something good and discover the beauty of it and especially if we are Alhamdulillah doing this uh, the, the good job for madrasa the new generation to learn to learn more about uh, the kindness the mercy the gentleness the 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 khlas, sincerity and work for all not for only for yourself all always talking about jamaa always talking about gathering always talking about kindness always talking about forgiveness this is what we have we don't have anything else when you read the sira nabawiyah we talk about generosity of rasulullah kindness of sayyidna rasulullah the smile of sayyidna rasulullah the, uh, but you won't find the scream of rasulullah no na'ud billah or shout never you never he never at all no one have uh, allah as he talk very softly that sometimes you have to repeat what you have said three times the people to to hear and allah said lower your voice even lower the, your voice you have to be lower than his voice allah sallam so it's all adab 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 of Al Quran taught us like with your parents, you are not favoring them, you are serving them. Uh huh. And the, for the parents, for your children, you are doing two things. One is buying them clothes, put them in a school, giving them food, arrange for them a house. This we call looking after, call riaya. But good akhlaq, moral character, this we call terbiya, different story. Uh, this is we have to have these qualities we are a teachers always the first teacher come from house the teachers in the schools they are unable to do anything alone 50 person from the house 50 person in the school well sometimes parents send their children to school say they are naughty or something the school will change them no the school won't change them unless you help you are the farmer the land what is the land do you have to choose the land okay but the farmer know wh 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 the land how to put water so have to work there's a there is a the co cooperation between both may allah grant us barakah and rahmah for the dunya and the may allah be our help for the best may he subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with special support uh, may he grant our hearts to be pure heart to to have a look to him through our heart subhanahu wa ta'ala through this basira before our basar in akhira inshallah and may Allah grant us in this temporary life to get the nectar of this life, the beauty of this life. And to remember this, the beauty of the life, the, the, the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us in order for us to be min shakirin thankful. And if there is any struggle in this life, there is nothing called going to be forever. But we have to accompany that struggle, if it's any, with patience, as sabirin as we have two levels, as sabirin wa shakirin and these all al anbiya al mursalin like that they are thankfulness they are among those whom they thankful to and they are also patient 
May Allah grant us with barakah rahmah. Ya Allah guide us. Be our guide in this life and in the, in the hereafter. Grant us, Ya Allah, purity of the heart, purity of our deeds, purity of our sincerity. And bless us, Ya Allah, to be among your uh, best of servants. And Ya Allah, we ask you to grant us happiness within our houses, schools, workplace, anywhere. And Ya Allah, we ask you that for us to be a hand which open the doors of good deeds and the same hand which closed all the doors of evil deeds. And may he subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be the best of human, that we can do many things for humanity, first of all, so that we will be praised as a human and will be praised as a believers, insha'Allah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasan wa fi l'akhirati hasan wa qina a'adhaab al-nar wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam wa sallam wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Qabbal Allah minna. Okay. Dua, insha'Allah. Dua of the Mawlid. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين جعلنا الله وإياكم ممن يستوجب شفاعته ويرجو من الله رحمته ورافته اللهم بحرمة هذا النبي الكريم وآله وأصحابه السالكين على منهجه القويم اجعلنا من خيار أمته واسترنا بذيل حرمته وحشنا غدا في زمرته واستعمل سنتنا في مدحه ونصرته وحين متمسكين بسنته وطاعته ومتنا اللهم على حبه وجماعته اللهم أدخلنا معه الجنة فإنه أول من يدخلها وأنزلنا معه في قصورها فإنه أول من ينزلها وارحمنا ومع أشفع للخلائق فترحمها اللهم ارزقنا زيارته في المدينة المنورة في كل سنة ولا تجعلنا من الغافلين عنك ولا عنه قد رسنا اللهم لا تجعل في مجلسنا هذا أحدا إلا غسلت بماء التوبة ذنوبه وسترت برداء المغفرة عيوبه اللهم إنه كان معنا في السنة الماضية إخوة وأخوات رحمهم الله منعهم القضاء عن وصولها مثلها فلا تحرمهم ثواب هذه الساعة وفضلها اللهم ارحمنا إذا صرنا من أصحاب القبور وفقنا لعمل صالح يبقى سناه على ممر الدهور اللهم اجعلنا ليالائك ذاكرين ولنعمائك شاكرين واليوم لقائك من الذاكرين وحنا بطاعتك مشغولين وإذا توفيتنا فتوفنا غير مفتونين ولا مخذولين واختم لنا بنك بخير أجمعين اللهم اكفنا شر الظالمين اللهم اكفنا شر الظالمين اللهم اكفنا شر الظالمين واجعلنا من فتنة هذه الدنيا سالمين اللهم اجعل هذا الرسول الكريم لنا شفيعا وارزقنا به يوم القيامة مقاما رفيعا اللهم اسقنا من حوض الكوثر حوض نبيك سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم شربة هنية مريئة لا نظم بعدها أبدا وحشنا تحت لوائه غدا اللهم اغفر لنا به وليابائنا ولأمهاتنا ولمشايخنا ولمعلمنا وذوي الحقوق علينا وللجماعة الحاضرين والحاضرات والمسلمين والمسلمات المؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات قاضي الحاجات وغافر الذنوب والخطيئات يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار يا الله bless us all with happiness في الدنيا والآخرة protect us from the evil of sin and unseen be our guide in all our important affairs in our and matters in our life let us, Ya Allah, be always among the successful ones, inshallah. Ya Allah, we ask you to bless our families, our children, our, our all households, and our brothers and sisters with happiness, with dunya, and everlasting happiness with akhirah. Uh, ya Allah, for those whom they are suffering from sickness, Ya Allah, bless them with speedy recovery. Pro speedy recovery physically and spiritually. Protect us, Ya Allah, from all types of disasters, turmoils, sicknesses, illnesses, and Ya Allah, we ask you, more importantly, to be grateful and thankful to all your blessings you have favored us. Bless us, Ya Allah, to be among the true lovers of your beloved Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his brothers, Al-Anbiya, wal Mursaleen, all prophets and messengers, and his family, Ahlul Bayt household, and his companions until the end of the life. Ya Arham Ar-Rahimeen, wal Awliya, wal Salihin, bi rahmatik, Ya Arham Ar-Rahimeen, wa ala hadhi niya bi sirri al-Fatiha.
إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون السلام على المسلمين الحمد لله رب العالمين قبل الله منكم جزاكم الله خير